So I told you guys yesterday in the community section that I got an email from Hannibal the Cannibal, a.k.a. Hannibal the Cruel, <laughs> a.k.a. Hannibal Lecter. I can do this all day. <laughs> I am Aquarius. I got nicknames all day. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I told you guys, I got this stupid letter and Loki wanted the clown. Me and Loki been clowning the letter for a week, quite frankly, amongst my friends. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let's not just clown. You know, let's actually use this. Like all said, always teaches me, use everything for knowledge, learn from everything. So I was like, you know something, this letter is a perfect example, a perfect example of how covert narcissists use different um, toxic manipulation strategies to get us to do what they want, <laughs> okay? And I was sitting there like, I gotta show this to my audience. I want them to see what manifestation really looks like because Hannibal is really smart and really great at manipulation. He's been doing this for a long time. So I thought if I shared this with you guys, it would give you an opportunity to see into the mind <laughs> of a covert narcissist. So if you start getting letters like this from somebody or you know somebody that gets them, and we're going to talk more about that part too later, um, then you'd be like, I've seen this before, <laughs> okay? And I'm going to read the letter. <laughs> so that's just the bottom line. And then I'm going to analyze it and y'all go analyze it in the comment section and we're going to talk about it. But before I get started with the introduction, I want to tell you guys something. This is going to be a very special edition of Asking Aquarius because number one, I'm going to make it into a series. I want you guys to send me your unhinged letters. That's what I'm going to call this series, unhinged letters. And I want you to send me letters that narcissists and toxic and crazy people send you that just make no sense. And we're going to clown them a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit, no names, no personal information. We're going to clown a little bit, but what we're mostly going to do is look and see what tactics and strategies they're looking, they're using, just like we're going to do today. What tactics are they using to try to control you? The second reason why this is going to be a special edition of Asking Aquarius is because I'm going to be doing a drinking game, <laughs> okay? I'm working so I can't drink, but I can create a drinking game so that tonight <laughs> when I upload this, I'm going to be watching it when I drop it and we can all watch it at the same time and play the drinking game, okay? So I'm going to explain the rules when I get into it, but basically it's going to go like this. Every time we do an unhinged video, we are going to play this drinking game where you take one sip or one puff, depending on what you're into. I don't judge or one of each. Okay. When there's a lie told. Okay. Now, sometimes we might not know their lies, but we can speculate that they're lies. Okay. Number two, every time a different form of manipulation is used and we see evidence of it, you have to take two drinks or two puffs, okay? So this is going to be our unhinged video <laughs> drinking game, okay? So for those of you who drink, those of you who smoke, I mean, you can use water <laughs> if you want to. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, you can use water, juice, Kool-Aid. I don't care. I'm going to use vodka and orange juice. <laughs> I'm going to just let y'all know. You know, use what you're going to use. All right, so this is going to be a very special episode of Asking Aquarius. Let's get started. My name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who might think this shit is funny. <laughs> okay? Leave us a positive comment in the comment section, and tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think? Okay? Like, drop, have you experienced this kind of, has anybody ever sent you a letter like that? like and what did you do you know let me know <laughs> let's learn together all right if you want to get a reading done all my information is underneath this video i would love to give you a reading please hit me up um my emails under there uh let's see my amazon wish list is under there oh and most importantly at the very top underneath this video i am going to leave 
the first two videos. This is an update. I did a video where I talked about this situation. So for some of you might not know what's going on. <laughs> so if you want to update, I'll link the part one and part two of the original videos that I did forever ago. Okay. Also underneath this video, I left resources for people who are dealing with narcissistic abuse recovery. Um, or if you're living with a narcissist or you're dealing with a narcissist, whatever the case is. Okay. Um, there are resources for you underneath this video. Okay. <sighs> All right. I think I told you guys everything. So let me get out my scoreboard <laughs> so we can keep up with the drinking game. Okay. So lies versus strategies. Let's go. This is really funny too, guys. Remember I said this person is really smart. Um, supposedly this person was a criminal. This is somebody from my past. Somebody that I found intriguing in my 20s, okay? Now, supposedly this person was a criminal turned businessman. I'm not sure if that story is true or not because narcissists make all kinds of stuff up. But we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll decide. I don't know. Um, and I first wanted to tell you guys what made me decide to do this. Because people had mixed feelings. I asked you guys in the comment section. And 82% of you thought I should do this. Um... And I asked people on my Facebook page too. And this is the one comment that I took from Facebook. You guys, majority ruled here. So I already knew what I was going to do. But this comment said a lot to me. Her name is Miss Ramsey, let's call her. I won't say her name since I don't know if I can or not. I didn't ask her. We're going to call her Miss Ramsey. Miss Ramsey said, do it. They won't change. Rotten to the core. Eternally damned. Ooh, ooh, Lord. She had a woo. She had a real covert narcissist. My God. You might as well capitalize on it. Hey. <laughs> he exploited you. An eye for an eye. And you can have a last laugh. <laughs> Don't deny the gods. <laughs> She's talking about Loki. <laughs> Everybody know me. No, I love Loki. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to read it, right? So as I go along and read it, I'm going to point out each and every instance that I'm talking about. And I'm going to take scores so we know how much we got to drink, okay? So this might take a while, all right? Let's go with the first part. Number one, it says, first and foremost, I am sorry that I have hurt you. And that hurt continues to be present. <laughs> First lie, <laughs> take a drink. <laughs> and the reason why we know that's a lie is because this person did not have to hurt me. Okay. This person could have talked to me very easily. This is somebody who was trying to court me for quite some time. We had a lot of back and forth for 23 something odd years, blah, 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 lots of history, lots of crap. But last October, we came together to see what we thought about our relationship, our friendship, if it would be a friendship, it wouldn't be a friendship, whatever the case, this person chose to ghost me instead of saying anything and then popped up a week later talking about, oh, I'm sorry. So you hurt me on purpose is what that is given, right? That's why I said it's a lie because if a person doesn't want to hurt you, they don't hurt you. They take steps not to hurt you. And it was too easy in this case. All you had to say was, uh, I feel like this. <laughs> That's it. Very easy, right? And you'll see more as I'm reading. Next section. However, as a supposed, supposed priestess of my act, why do you feel it necessary to hurt innocent people? Now, that's our first strategy of manipulation. Take a drink. <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> Future me, drink up. <laughs> okay, so why did I say that was manipulation? Because notice how he says supposed priestess of my eye. So he knows the things that are important to me. And spirituality is the most important thing in my life. We once had a fight and I stopped talking to him <laughs> because he said some hot shit, you know, about my version of spirituality. And I was just like, well, uh, yeah, so you can go. <laughs> Goddess is staying, okay? 
So he knows how important that is to me. So right there, that is supposed to elicit in me some type of feelings, emotional manipulation. So one of the things I'll tell you about this whole thing is that it's constant emotional manipulation. That's the name of his game. He has a cancer moon and he's really good at that. So he has the Libra sun with the cancer moon. The Libra sun is the intellect, real smart. That's how come he's like, oh, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the Libra sun. But the cancer is the emotional manipulation. Very strong. All right. So, yeah. Why do you feel it necessary to hurt innocent people? Innocent people, once again, supposed to play on my sense of right and wrong. So that's another strategy. Er, <laughs> take two more drinks. <laughs> okay. Now, you know that the Aries... The Aries he's talking about is his main supply. Every narcissist has a supply. People that they feed off of. This is the one that he married. He married his main supply, but has all kinds of other supplies. And was cheating for a long time, but the last time I talked to him was in an open relationship. I, I think, I don't know, because he was bitching about that too. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know. So you know that the Aries didn't have anything to do with our relationship. But you continue to torture her with your posts and videos. Okay, now the Aries not having anything to do with our relationship is true. Of course not, duh. Um, but you continue to torture her with your posts and videos. This is a lie. Not tortured by posts, not tortured by videos. Take two drinks. <laughs> okay. We're going to be drunk by the end of this letter. <laughs> okay. Now, why did I say these were lies? Because I talked to the Aries. All right. After I got this a week ago, I got this letter a week ago. I hit up the Aries and talked to her. And she told me she had not seen any of the videos and that he was lying um, <laughs> and I was like, wow. So all of this part that you're about to hear is lies. If I am who you say I am, covert narcissist, which he is because he was the one that told me he was diagnosed a covert narcissist. All I did was go to narcissist recovery and learn about them, their characteristics. I've been doing this for a year. So I, that's all I did was learn. I just got knowledge. Okay. Um, if I am who you say I am, you know that those posts don't affect me. Why are you stalking me? <laughs> Why are you looking at my posts? All that tells me is that you're watching me. That's creepy. Stop watching me. <laughs> okay. All right. What's that one? Is that a lie or is that a strategy? Uh, it's a lie. Take a drink. Because we know it affected him because he wouldn't have wrote the letter if it didn't. <laughs> You're not going to write a letter to somebody that didn't affect you. Duh. Um, yet, you continue to harm her. Another lie. Take a drink. With the constant reminders of our relationship. Which is impacting her relationship with our children and others. Take two more drinks. It's not impacting her relationship with her children, because I told you I just asked her. And when I talked to her, she was going to get her children. And she said that she did not care what the fuck I talk about and told me, feel free to talk about whatever I want. As long as I don't say her name, she doesn't care. Gave me permission. She don't care. <laughs> she says she don't even be online, okay? So all of that right there, I hope you took them drinks. <laughs> all of that right there was gerby gerby. All right, let me hold up, y'all. By now, y'all should have taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven sips or eleven puffs, depending upon what you're doing, all right? Now, you know that you're wrong for that. And if you have something to say to me, then you know how to contact me. Another lie, because I ain't wrong about anything, because she just said, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> she just said he's lying. So, period, point blank. Now, you see the part where he said, you know how to contact me? That goes under strategy. You know what that strategy is? Some of y'all already know what that strategy is. That's called the Hoover Okay, so he extends the door of, oh, you can contact me so that I will contact him and then he'll hoover me back into some type of situation where he's using me for my energy again. 
Narcissists just want to use you. So if they're trying to um, encourage you to contact them, they're trying to hoover you back in. Don't take the hoover. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to talk about. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Don't take the hoover, okay? Next, be an adult and direct anger at the person, at me, instead of taking swipes at my spouse. Now, how am I, first of all, let me hold up, be an adult. So if it's being an adult, then isn't ghosting not being an adult? So we should have all been adults, right? <laughs> right? So that means that you should have said what you had to say in October, not wait to write me some crazy shit <laughs> after the fact, okay? And taking swipes at your spouse. Never took one swipe at her. She's a lovely person. She is a lovely person and patient and considerate and kind. Never took one swipe at her. We've never even had an argument. I do not many times I've talked to this person. This is his main supply, been his main supply for 20 something years. And then there's another one that I didn't talk to. And then there's me. And then there's some other ones that he just plays with when he feels like it, you know, those kind, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I never took a swipe at any of these people for no reason. I've talked to the supply, I don't know, 30 times. I mean, I just talked to her on Tuesday. I mean, like never took a swipe of her, never had an argument with her. Nothing. She never did anything to me. I never did anything to her. Well, back in the day when he was creeping, I was creeping with him. You know, the whole open relationship thing is a recent development. <laughs> okay. Back in the day when I was in my 20s, I did do things to her. So I can understand definitely. Yeah, I understand that definitely. But we've never had an argument. She's a perfectly lovely person. I feel sorry for her that she puts up with this shit, quite frankly. This is like ridiculous. I feel sorry for myself too. <laughs> okay. Then lying. Lying to your so-called followers. Y'all is not my followers, okay? Y'all got lives. <laughs> We more like friends at this point. <laughs> um, as if you were an innocent victim in a relationship. Take a drink. Lies. I never told y'all I was innocent in anything. If you've been watching me, tell me in the comment section, did you think I was innocent of anything? <laughs> y'all know I used to cut up. Y'all know I got a Sagittarius moon. Y'all know. I never come off to y'all like, oh, I'm, I'm just, oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm, nah. I keep it real. Y'all know <laughs> when I was younger, y'all know I was cutting up. Y'all know, y'all know. If you watch any video, you know. Like, come on. So that's another lie. We both willfully engaged. What are you talking about? Is I don't understand what this, what this is about. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Leave her out of it. Um, strategy again. Take two drinks. And this strategy here is to once again elicit my sense of right and wrong. So I am need to leave her out of it because I'm harming her. But of course, she and I talked about it three times since then. <laughs> and that's not what's how she feels at all. So the question again is, what are you lying for? Like, what the hell is this? And this is why I don't talk to this person. I would be perfectly happy to have a conversation with this person and bury the hatchet. But this person lies constantly. I don't know what's real and what's true. So why talk to somebody when I got to decipher what the truth is? I ain't doing it. Next paragraph. <laughs> you know, when you stand in judgment, who now he's going into my spirituality. Another strategy. Take two more drinks <laughs> <laughs> that you will have to be held accountable for the continuous torture you are inflicting on her. Another lie because she's not tortured. You told me as part of your priestess training that you were to protect and cause no harm to the innocent. That is true. And intentionally harm to the innocent. You can accidentally hurt somebody that don't, you don't even know who it is, you know? But yeah, intentionally. Um, I know you think you're providing a service to your followers. Why do you keep calling y'all my followers? <laughs> what? But you know the hate and vitriol you have towards me is only hurting her. Um, no, it's not hurting her. Take another drink. Another lie. So it's the same lie. The hurting her lie keeps on reoccurring, right? 
Um, let me see. The hatred ain't hurting nobody but me. <laughs> I'm the one that gets nauseous when I think of you. <laughs> okay. Hatred doesn't hurt the other person. Hatred, ha hatred hurts you. Okay. That's why I'm working through narcissist recovery to let it go. That's why, because I know hatred hurts you and not the other person. Uh, you know that as a follower of the goddess Aset, Ashe, and Haru, Ashe, that you will be held in account for what you are doing as it relates to my soon-to-be ex-wife. Now, we're not going to count this as a lie because I don't know if this is true or not, but we are going to count it as a strategy. Take two drinks, and I'm going to tell you why. That strategy, it's soon-to-be ex-wife, that was called, say it with me, y'all, that y'all know, future faking. Now, whether or not they broke up or will break up or anything like that, we don't know. That's why I said we can't tell if it's a lie or not, because I didn't ask. It's not my business. Um, but him saying my soon-to-be ex-wife, why did he feel the need to say my soon-to-be ex-wife when he could have just said the Aries, like he said in every other paragraph, right? He went left here, and he went left here to future fake. This is to make me believe that he's going to be single. And now I get the pleasure <laughs> of him coming to suck off my energy again, right? That's what that was. It's called future faking. Google it. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm supposed to have this belief of this fake ass future. Uh, nah, <laughs> nah, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't care if that's a lie or true. It doesn't affect me. I would, I... <laughs> I'm trying to say this in the nicest, most possible way. Um, I figured out that this is somebody I don't need to be around, as we can see. Okay. Next section. If calling me names ooh, provides you relief, then do what makes you happy or comfortable. Thank you. So you don't mind. That's cool. I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> but thank you. That's cool. I like that one. So we ain't going to take a drink on that one. That's good. Um, I decided on October 5th, the path I need to take, and I'm committed to following that all the way through. Well, I decided on October 4th that I didn't want to have a romantic relationship with this person. And what did I do, y'all? I told this person, okay? I told this person I wanted to be friends. I remember exactly what I said. I said, I want to be friends. We can call each other once a week and I will tell you what I'm doing to find true love and you tell me what you're doing to find happiness. That's exactly what I said to him on October 4th. And all he had to do was say, okay, good idea. Let's just be platonic friends or fuck that. I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Two options, right? Didn't say anything. Then he said right here on October 5th, he made a decision. Now you made the decision on October 5th, but did not tell me anything. Okay. So we see this right here. So again, the narcissist wants to maintain control of you. He didn't tell me what that decision was because he wanted to maintain control of me. And now it doesn't matter what the decision was. So right there, that little October 5th shit, that's supposed to make me curious to know, well, what, did, what was it? What did he decide? What was the problem? What did I do? I'm not insecure. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. And I know I didn't do nothing. So I'm not asking myself what the answer to that was. So that was another stat strategy. Take two sips. <laughs> okay. All right. So what is next? Um, uh, let's just see. I also know that I will have to answer for my wrongdoing. Oh, we finally come to that. Because if you notice something... The whole letter is saying how it's my fault that his life fucked up. <laughs> it's my fault that his marriage is messed up, but he's the one that's been narcissistically abusing and lying and gaslighting the same person for 25, 28, 20 something years. So this is my fault though. That ain't my wife. You broke your vows. You acted a fool back in the day. Recently, more recently, you're the one that's lying and still lying to her. <laughs> still can't tell the truth, can you? So, okay. Now let's go into the next part. If you are truly a follower of Maya, then you will stop torturing the Aries and allow her to heal. Um, Lie. Because the Aries already told us she's not tortured. 
Uh, however, I believe your desire for clicks and algorithms, oh my goodness, is more important than speaking truth, doing justice, and walking in the way of righteousness. He, he, and he's up, y'all. <laughs> now y'all can see why I got a real kick out of him, right? <laughs> okay. So we're going to call that a emotional strategy because again, this is again, like he keep coming at my spirituality, my sense of right and wrong, my sense of truth, you know, what I believe in. He keeps coming at it. The whole algorithm and clicks thing coming at this idea and you're going to come more into that now about me being a capitalist, right? Listen to this. At this point, you seem to be trying to create content for your social media and generate revenues. It appears that you'd rather be the queen influenced by capitalism instead of following the edicts of your faith system. Lie. <laughs> because he knows that I live humbly. He knows that. I don't make a lot of money. I don't have a big following. He knows that, y'all. We had this conversation and he knows I was raised humbly. I was raised by a mother who was cheap. <laughs> she was a country gal and she was raised with 12 brothers and sisters. She didn't have much. So I wasn't raised with luxury. I wasn't raised with Louis Vuitton. I wasn't raised with any of that shit. Not that anything's wrong with it, but I wasn't raised with that. So I never adopted it. I like things. Y'all know I like toys and crowns and, you know, uh, novelty handbags, but I don't have uh, luxury items or a car. I don't even have a car. I haven't had a car since 2012. I take Uber everywhere. So he knows that I live simply and humbly and that I believe in that, you know, not to say that making money is bad, not to say that capitalism is bad, but he knows that's my belief. So he's going to try to come at it. Notice how he tries to come at every belief I have, my spirituality. <laughs> he comes at everything, right? He's clever, right? I was like, wow, he's really clever. All right. Now I see you for who you are. Ooh. <laughs> and time will tell if I'm correct in my assessment. Now that right there is another strategy. Take two more drinks. You know what that strategy is? Time will tell if I'm correct in my assessment. That's for me to know he's going to continue watching. He's going to continue stalking me <laughs> and then talking shit about what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm supposed to be intimidated. That strategy is supposed to intimidate me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you want to watch this bullshit, you go right ahead. Because quite frankly, I wouldn't watch. If he was doing a video about his exes and how he felt about them, I wouldn't watch that shit. So if you want to do that, you want to torture yourself, then you go right ahead. All right, let's see. I'm sure this will be additional content for your social media pursuits for the next year. Well, that sounds like you're allowing me to use this for content. Isn't that what that sounds like to y'all guys? Not that I wasn't going to do it anyway. <laughs> but that sounds like permission, so thank you. <laughs> and lastly, uh, despite your belief, I didn't want to hurt you. Another lie. Bam! Um, and I know there's nothing I can do to alleviate your pain. Nah, just leave me alone. <laughs> if you leave me alone, I will stop hating you eventually. And I'll realize, like, he's a sick person. I just have to accept. Your, I just got to accept his illness. I will accept it. And I'll be like, you know what? That's fine. Say what I did with Voldemort. I'll accept that Hannibal is sick. And that's it. I'll accept it. I'll let it go. So... It's nothing you need to do to alleviate the pain. And that's a lie because he don't want to alleviate it. Because if he wanted to alleviate it, he wouldn't have did that shit in the first place. Take another drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We almost done. Uh, let's, let's see. My prayer is that your heart and your spirit find healing. Take a drink. That's another lie. He don't hope that at all. All right. Now, y'all. So, we're going to add up <laughs> all of our points. And see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. He told sixteen lies. So you should have taken sixteen drinks. And he used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different strategies in the stanzas. So you should have taken two times nine, eighteen. 
So what do we say? 16 plus 18? Oh, y'all probably wasted. Future me, are you wasted? <laughs> All right, so that's 12, 13, 14. Carry the one, 34. So you should have taken 34 sips or puffs <laughs> or whatever you were doing. You should have had 34 of them. So that is the letter. So listen, y'all. I want y'all to send me in your unhinged letters and we're going to do the same thing with yours, okay? We're going to go through them. We're going to laugh about them. We're going to talk smack and we're going to put a, point out every last manipulation. So now, what do you think I should do? Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to completely ignore it from this point on. I'm not going to say anything else because there is something very important that one of you told me in the comment section. You said, at cute aqua, I would let this one go. That's probably exactly what they want is to get a reaction out of you. Anything to hold on to dear queen's attention so their ego is fed. So I'm going to start ignoring Hannibal the cannibal. Thank you, cute aqua. You're right. And Mark Nightingale 5674 said, as a Gemini, I say, let it go. You're better than that to hold on to trash. Cleanse yourself of the garbage and just watch it go down the drain away from you let it go. And that's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to let it go. So I hope that this video helps some of you see how an intelligent covert narcissist can manipulate you. This could have made me angry because this is called rage baiting. This could have made me angry instead of being, uh, he could have been poison or he could have been medicine. He really couldn't decide which one he wanted to be. So he was actually a little bit of both, but it's all bullshit to rage bait me into contacting him so he can hoover me back into his bullshit. But that's what we're not going to do. We're going to use it. We're going to laugh about it. We're going to learn from it. And we're going to move on. Right, y'all? So send me y'all letters. Let's get it popping. <laughs> Let's get it popping, okay? Happy Friday. <laughs> and come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.